Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Beach Camper Van. This set has the set number 31138 and retails for $49.99. However, it is going on sale at lots of retailers around the country. I picked this up on Amazon for $39.99, so I figured let's take a look at it and put it together and do a little review on it. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. As of late, a lot of you guys have really been enjoying the speed builds or time lapse of these builds, so let's get into that. But before we do, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. It really helps out the channel and allows us to keep making videos like this. So without a further ado, let's get into the time lapse and then we'll show off the set at the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. Like I said, I really wanted to start showing off these builds and not just showing the final product, but actually me putting it together or us putting it together. So let's take a look at the minifigures here first. So the first one we have here is this uh, woman here who has, I don't know if that's a bathing suit or if that's just a white coverall or whatever that is, but it looks like it has some like apples or just some green print on it. She's got some standard yellow arms like it's a tank top and yellow hands. There's no print on her legs. There is print on the back on the back of her. See, she's got print there, but it's the same as the front. She's got a nice hair piece and she does have multiple heads to display. So you can display her second head if you want to. The male minifigure, I can't get him out of the ducky boat with one hand, but he has two heads as well, or two facial expressions. He's just got a little surfboard, or a sailboat on his shirt, I should say, and a tank top on as well. There's a little bit of print on his back, but there's not a whole lot there. It's just showing off the tank top, pretty much. Um, and he is sitting in a rubber duck slash floaty type thing that could sit in the beach. I do want to note on the box, um, you can see the two minifigures there and they're in their attire that I have them in. That's how the build, build has you do it. In the other three-in-one sets though, in a handful of these, they have the faces actually reversed. So in this one here, you can see the what looks to be the female figure has the white hair in this one and the male minifigure head has the long hair. So they're very interchangeable and are pretty gender neutral, I should say, for a Lego 3-in-1, which is interesting. It's pretty cool. I like that they allow you to make your own creativity for that. So that is the minifigures. 
some of the other builds that you do along with this set, you do a little stereo down here, a little boom box that you can have your minifigure hold. And then you also build a little crab. I really like the way that the cherries indicate the head or the eyes of the crab and the modified one by one stud there for the arms. It's pretty interesting. It's a small little build, but it definitely looks like a crab. So I think they did a good job. So kudos to the Lego designer on this one. The palm tree comes together pretty good. It's a simple build, just some um, simple curved slopes here with the wedge plate or the one by two slopes. And then it just mounts up at the top. Pretty simple, looks pretty cool. And then you also build these like changing rooms type stuff. It's just a simple uh, one by four pretty much around the sides and then the one by six on the back. And then they do have a panel on the side here. The one on the right is actually a bathroom. You can see it's got the little toilet and the sink and the toilet paper and it has a little shelf for a changing room. The one on the left here, I'm not entirely sure what it is. It just has a shovel. So it's just open. I guess it's a changing room with a shovel, maybe to shovel the sand. I don't know. And then you have a little uh, fauna or floral element without any flowers. Um, it's kind of interesting. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to indicate, but maybe a seashell and then a bucket for sand. On the back, you just have some little modified rounded two by ones that are one by twos that maybe indicate sand dunes. So those are the extra builds for this set. Taking a look at the main section of this build, we have the white and yellow beach camper van. So starting on the top here, we have two surfboards that are mounted to the top of the roof, which is pretty cool. These are actual um, brick built. You can see they're attached like so. It's pretty cool. You do that twice to make the different colors of the, of the surfboards. The back here, we have a ladder to get to the top. We also have a suitcase full of luggage. We have a trailer hitch there. On the front, we have working windshield wipers. They're just little, um, they're the little lever element. They just attach in the front there. And then this actually pops down to reveal the engine or what's supposed to be the engine. So that's pretty cool. On this side, there is no door. The door is on the other side. This, however, does open so the passenger can uh, kind of open the window if they would like. But yeah, that's the outside of the beach camper van. On the inside, we have the door that opens to get to the inside. We have a little plant that's potted there on the side. Let's actually just take the roof off because this actually this comes off like so. It's a little bit of a modular style of camper van. So in the front, we have the driver and passenger seat. There's not a whole lot of detail there, but you have a steering wheel and the passenger seat has a dashboard type thing. Um, in the inside, we have a little like TV monitor, a coffee maker, a sink, a frying pan with what looks like maybe a dishwasher or some sort of, uh, I guess it might be an oven too, I guess. Uh, you have a little step up to what is maybe the bed or fold up bed. I don't know if that's a table or a bed or what, but it folds up and then you have access to, I guess that is the bed down there. Cause that would be the, probably the, those will be the pillows and then the rest will be the blankets. So that pretty much is all the details of this camper van. I really think that this was pretty detailed for what it is, especially for the three in one. Uh, lately, the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 sets have been doing a great job. I know this released a while back, and I'm just now getting around to building it. Like I said, it was on sale, so I've been kind of eyeing some of these sets recently. I think this would be great to go in a city, a LEGO city, which is, I think, what we're planning on doing. One of my biggest critiques of this set would probably be um, the extra build elements within this set. I do think that this right here is the main event. I bought this set just for the camper van itself and I don't know if I really want to do anything with these other pieces. I think maybe on a beach they would look nice but I'm probably not going to use them too much. 
um, if I don't have space for them. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if they're actually going to find much space on a beach, but I don't know. We'll see. I guess when that video comes out or when we have the opportunity to build that, we'll see if these actually make it or if they get parted out. Anyway, yeah, the camper van itself I think is a pretty fun build. It was actually easier, I think, than paying attention to some of these guys. It wasn't really hard, I guess. It just was not the most fun build. This is pretty, pretty basic, right? It's just some bricks thrown together with um, a roof like... There's not much creativity in this. So I enjoyed I enjoyed the creativity of the camper van, especially this hinge part right here, especially on this side and this side. I just like the way that that got built. It's pretty intricate and the wheel well and all that stuff. Um, it's mostly system built. Like I don't think there's any Technic in here aside from the wheels. Obviously you have the Technic pins to keep the wheels in place, but for the most part, it's pretty system heavy, um, which is what I think I like about it. If you are a returning viewer of our channel, you know that I don't really love Technic all that much, but I do occasionally put stuff together when I find a set that piques my interest. But in any case, I really enjoyed that this was a system build. I think this is a good pickup uh, when it's on sale. Again, I don't really like the extra stuff. I think it adds a little extra cost that you probably don't need. The minifigures, I really wish maybe could have been a little bit more detailed, but for the most part, they do a pretty good job of showing the beach attire. Um, and I guess this is a pretty generic set, so I guess they don't really need to have a ton of detail, but I would have been a little bit more impressed with like the ability to have like a swimsuit or something. I don't know. They're kind of just chilling out. But um, yeah, I mean, for 40 bucks, I would pick it up. Again, I would like to do maybe one of the other builds within this three in one, maybe the ice cream shop or the surf shop. Although we already have the other three in one surf shop, so maybe not. I would pick it up when it was on sale, but like I said, probably not at full price. Um, so. That is my review of the Lego 3-in-1 beach camper van and also the ice cream shop and a surf shop. But if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button and consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.